Hello everyone, this is Antiwave bringing to you guys another Halo Wars 2v3 video. So this is actually an old video when I first started out as a channel um, about roughly two and a half-ish years ago. Um, so this was at a time when I did not have a PC. I did not even have a Series X, I believe, or I was just about to get one. And I was recording through the Xbox DVR, and on the Xbox One, it allowed you to record 10 minutes. Between, yeah, between about 4 to 10 minutes or something like that. So this is a very old game, Reno. I don't know if you'll remember this one. Well, you'll remember it by seeing it. But uh, you was the Yellow Anders. I was the Brigitte. And this random teal player was the Arbiter. I believe we invited him to party, and that's what turned things around. But this was a match that was like around maybe 40 minutes or more it was a constant back and forth and i'm surprised we even won this game it's interesting looking back i was very lazy very lackadaisical both of us were reno by the way except you was much more of a saving grace than i was until about later so as you see there uh, i was starting my chieftain up and we go attack the enemy the green player i don't remember the team composition because i'm too lazy to look but um, this is going to be a very uh, intense game. I go from making vampires the whole time, there's scarabs everywhere. Uh, the enemy Arbiter was a two star, it was tough killing him for a while. But uh, yeah, not none really crazy this game, not really too much. But yeah, so the, we open up the game with me vortexing the base down. I upgrade my vortex. I'm very, I'm vortexing in a kind of lazy way. Instead of vortexing this inner structure, I just like, try to get the supply bag. But fortunately, Reno was there to back me up with his warthogs. So we take out their expo. We do get a lead on them. And like I said before, because of the DVR, uh, recording 10 minutes at a time. I did not record every single moment of the game. There are times when I was too focused and I forgot to press the record button. So, there will be a cut and I think I do have one edit where it's like roughly 10-ish minutes later because there's a part coming up soon where nothing happens and then it just cuts. You'll experience that a lot. But the two following parts will just be the battle and then the end. Anyway, um, typical 14 game, nothing really too much here. I'll talk about some other things since there isn't really too much to talk about yet until I get to the main battle. So, if you're curious about how most of my games go, the like I would not say majority, but a definitely a sizable portion of games are just people quitting before the game even begins. E either me or them. Normally we quit long before the match starts. Unless we lag out, which is extremely rare. Very, very rare if we lag out. Whenever I'm the brute, I like to star my brute up. Something about a two-star buff right chief is just so, mm, just so beefy. Destiny reference, y'all. So anyway, uh, at this point, looking back at this footage, I'm cringing at myself because I didn't, I don't know why I didn't have that summon up for like eight minutes. One thing this Arbiter player did was make engineers, and that saved. Reno, I'll definitely some money. Um, however, of course, like that, he definitely knew he had an idea on how to play the game. Definitely did, and it was thanks to us guiding him around. And yep, see, ten minutes later. <laughs> so as you see right there, uh, the two star Arbor is almost killed, and he recalls. He's been a very pesky uh, player this entire game. Reno has his power turret tanks and chain up gremlins, and I have an army of vampires and engineers because I thought about making a scarab. But as you see in a few moments, because I am a premonitionist, not a word, but making it up now, Red is going to show up with a Scarab, forcing oh, Yellow man. to run away. And for some reason, my vampires are all the way in 10 bug 8 to 9. You see right there, uh, Red isn't so smart with a Scarab. He uses his engineer to heal the base, and this should have been the prime time for my vampires the stasis those engineers instead of me trying to vortex them down as you see right there i don't know i thought i could vortex them down but since the base was healed they were healing each other fast and i could do damage and not to mention it wasn't even i think hurricane yet at this point yeah my vampires come in way too late right there but yeah however i didn't yeah see i just got hurricane anyway i do make the good call and switch to hunters i make the hunters later on because at some point I'm like, wow, like this isn't going to help. So I switch and 
you know, I uh, tend to make two hauls, one for pumping, one for upgrading. My chieftain could have died right here because the Scarab, like, hugged the shit of him. But, you know, normally I'm just really lucky sometimes. If I had to say, like, Death Toaster, if you're watching this, more or less, I guess I have as pro Mitch's luck. Sometimes, but at the same time, I also have your bad luck sometimes. But anyway, um, I know both sides of the, spe of the spectrum are here. So, I have the Hunters uh, being upgraded, and we're just hoping like hell they don't attack us. They do push us, but for some strange reason, we just don't lose here. And of course, what you see here is like, I think, battle number three, or two or three, of a constant tug of war. However, we were winning the base race because uh, we took out Green's expansion the first minute, like first two, like five, eight minutes of the game. But I think they got Teals twice. This will be the second time. But yeah, I didn't lose my bases too often, to be honest with you. I, don't think I, I, think I probably lost my a base of mine once, but again, because I there's like at least 10 to 12 minutes missing, I don't re remember. Anyway, as you, anyway, um, if you don't remember, again, um because of the dvr from the xbox one it's kind of as you see kind of not even kind of it is shitty but um i didn't want to delete this video i wanted to save it and yeah see there's a pesky two-star arbiter right there but um yeah we definitely weren't trying to turtle this game but you see no one's holding the walls here we're just building up and attacking Would have been a lot more interesting if I was able to capture the mid 10 minutes because I'm pretty sure that was the most insane back and forth. But um, I remember saying to Reno, or he said he's making the push, so I was going to back him up with the vehicles. Blue made Cobras and Wolverines, a, definitely a smart play. It makes sense, it's very understandable. But uh, Blue was never able to get Dual Launcher, or just not yet, since Teal had the sacrifice Banshees at this point in the game. Not too sure if I fed him or what. Local units. Local units. Shell right here, destroying the base, and that pesky scarab out of bounds, destroying his units. I'm not too sure that scarab gets started or anything. I'm pretty sure we destroy it now or later. You see what theory in the salt beam? And Reno does a good crab bomb on that scarab. And where the hell are my vampires? They're finally here. No, they're not even close. I see them at the middle of the map. And while that's going on, green makes a counterattack on yellow's expansion. All units. All units. We're going. Ready. What now? All units. Of course, because I'm fucking garbage, I am too late to make it to the base, and his expansion dies. If I was any smarter, I should have been able to teleport back and put engineers on his base. And I think that was my chieftain there. I'm sorry, I lost my chieftain there. No, I didn't lose some things on this. I felt kind of sad. Okay, but Reno was able to take out the two-star arbiter, so that's that. So that. Arbor is out of the picture. This is why I say chieftains are just. I like them better than an arbiter because the chieftain has, I think, just a bit more health. And he can pull and stun a unit. An arbiter cannot do that. Not to mention when he's in rage mode, he is also slightly weaker. Well, everyone played their role here. Um, I'm not sure if I lose my chieftain. I think he will be two starred or one. I just cannot remember the life of me since it was like. This match was like two and a half to three years ago. Yeah, red was just very scarab centric. We yeah, no, this is a lot of fumbles. This game, um, I'm not as fast then as I am now. Because if I was in the, because the me now would have teleported that you into the expansion base in the upper left hand corner and already had engineers on Teal's base. All units. All units. 
Yeah, not to mention with blue coming in and all that shit. Minutes. Yeah, no. Yeah, Teal's base is definitely dead. This must have been the second time we lost that base. Oh, right, and I forgot. Uh, green is an Anders, so that's coming back to me now. When I said earlier, I don't remember. Uh, red's the Arbor, and green is definitely Anders. I don't know what blue is. Maybe blue is Forge or something, or a very bad cutter. I'm not too sure. Probably a Forge. Seeing as I saw or heard no Mac West. Yeah, duh, blue is for us. I see the uh, Grizzly. Okay. Okay. Never mind. All units. Engineer ready. Local units. James McDonald's. <laughs> All units. All units. Enemy engagement. Well, it's a good thing Forge went Grizzly. It's a good and bad thing. Bad thing for my hunters, but good thing for Reno here. Since we all know that Grizzlies, while granting more health, their cancer shell is definitely weaker. Because it's well, not weaker, more spread out, but honestly, if it's not concentrated, it's no weaker. So whatever. Of course, I don't give a shit about these Cobras. The Cobras can't shoot up. I do have a fun video in the works that I'm not even gonna explain it. It'll just be out, and you'll know what it is. All units. All units. But I do intend on working on that turtle guy I've been talking about for a while. I don't know when now I get started, but once you get started, I'll definitely get rolling because the script is basically complete. Just gotta get the footage together now, which shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we make another push on Forge's expansion base, and I think we kill it in this. I hope the DVR captures that. <clears throat> And uh, green predictably makes hawks. That's what any Anders would do, me included. I think I sent my vampires back. Yes, I do. My engineers most likely don't make it in time, like for the 90. Yep, they already fucking killed Rio's expansion. I, I just felt bad. And I think at this moment, hey Rio, you should make a vehicle depot on that side base, <laughs> your main base. Like. The only time I'll see it's ever viable to have a um, all supply to a reactor in your base is when you're just starting. But once you're like, once you have what you need, you should always have one vehicle depot on your main base. It's just pointless. It's it's suicide if you don't have it because whatever units you lose on your expansion, that's kind of it. Enemy engagement. Oh, Teal's aggressiveness. He took down Blue's expansion, and my chief is almost dead because he sucks at the moment. Still, they, he's an infantry unit and he suffers from power turret like any other infantry aside from the damn profit. Well, even then, if he gets focused enough, his shield goes down, right? So, that doesn't even matter. Me almost having my chief and die again, I recall fast enough. And uh, Reno does get star tanks. So, green is at my base, and there's that little cut there. Uh, this is where we were able to fend them off because Teal took out Forge's expo. And then his Banshees flew back and we basically annihilated Green's tank army there. All units. All units. Well, yeah. Ready. Yeah. Green tries to... Green. Teal tries to expand again and Green is just being a like, damn pest. So I'm not... I don't remember the game plan but more or less we're just I guess trying to star our units up and Reno does get like a 10 star tank at the end maybe 10 to 11 definitely a 10 like was when I was editing I saw the thing there taking out the arbiter another scarab from red red's been very scarab happy and that's good for us for points so no one's complaining here but sadly yeah no so I'm lying man teal loses like how many spanish bases not even his fault he just can build and then they're just there like, they can smell it but yeah here here we go the life support has been frozen for now. All units. Well, that pesky arbiter rages my units down. And yellow over here in Timbuk 8 defending his base, understandably so. Yeah. 
so I think I'm telling Reno to get his behind over here so we can kill that damn scarab. Because it will push up to Teal's base and probably kill him. Like, we'll be fine, but Teal is kind of on the edge here. Not being allowed to expand, poor guy. I take, yeah, okay, good. Yep. I'm starting to grow up some brain cells and putting some engineers back on Yellow's expansion base. Have my vampires also in front to guard against any hawks. While Green's tanks go in along with my hunters. I think Teal was low on money. I'm not too sure if Reno gave him resources or. Um. He, yeah, no, he's definitely a single pumping. He was double pumping from the two bases, but now that. He lost his base like several times. That does cut into your economy a bit, no matter who you are. Luckily, my proactiveness allows me to seek and destroy this expo, hopefully. Yep. Yeah. Me being scared, I rightfully recall, because I didn't know if they're going to debuff, or I cryobombed, or whatever. And it's thanks to that cryo bomb that Reno right here just cryo bombs and obliterates at least the tanks that are there. I sent everything in since yeah, yeah, chain amp and all that. What <clears throat> I have to almost talk about this bit right there. Goodness. So here's the uh, the big part right here. Um, probably the highlight of this video is uh, after losing his expansion like 32 times Red pushes in with that scarab and takes over Teal's expansion base right there so we have that problem then we have green over here we try to take this out but um, because my vampires are in separate yeah my vampires are dealing with green and engineers are trying to save y'all's base and yeah, our armies are just basically too split. Uh, Teal isn't able to replenish his units in time or just at a rate necessary. And my engineers run away, rightfully so, but honestly, I wish I sent them back. Just that little few seconds of stalling would give our, our, our armies a bit more time. But yeah, so Red has his little foot there in our backyard or front yard, and we are pushed back. So this is uh, like genuinely, this is the part where I thought we were going to lose here, strangely, or like maybe we were going to give up, I'm not too sure. But Reno still has his tank, so I don't think we felt like that, but I understand the feeling I, would, I did have. I'm like, man, we might lose this stuff. Looking at that expansion base, I had way too many shields on that. If I could have just taken it, like if I could have taken a shield down and added a supply, or yeah, definitely a supply, or something like that. Could have had just a tiny bit more money. Well, it's all good. Honestly, even for them, both their armies were too split anyway. I think after this, I after this little attack here, I decide to take that expansion base. Yeah, because it's getting attacked right now by Red, and it will die because I'm too far away. However, I do try to save it, and yep, there's that 10-star tank right there from Reno. That would be our saving grace. Hell, I can almost remember a conversation right there saying, like, if we, as long as we could just take that Scarab out, we should be okay. So while my base getting attacked, I decided to switch over. I gave Reno some compensation for taking his expansion base. And I teleport back and try to think, I think, or I thought I could have taken out that Scarab, but Blue's going to back him up very shortly. Teal is also going to come in with his Arbiter, and we're going to try and take it down. I didn't have enough Hunters yet, but I'm trying to do that. So I'm building up my army in a corner, and yeah, Blue never gets dual launcher, I think. I don't think he gets it. Maybe like the very end, but Blue does not have DL. Yes, down low, or DL Hughley. Whatever, comedy, haha, -ha, funny. So I'm trying to stack up my hunters in the corner and put my engineers on the base. I don't do enough, but yeah, Yellow is going to arrive, and I only put three engineers because that's what I could send to teleport at that time and accidentally all all uniting if i didn't all unit there my more engineers could have made it and actually healed the base up but that didn't happen and my expansion dies foolishly a base has been destroyed. so uh, all units. 
yeah, I almost lose my chieftain right here because yellow copied my whole fucking flow like Drake the Soldier Boy, and he tries to heal that fucking tank but fails. Uh, that carpet bomb does do shit to my hunters. But as you see shortly, uh, we'll make that attack and take out that scarab soon. We'll do it soon. Local units. Enemy so, yeah. Enemy. Where are we needed? Yes. Trust me, if I was like how I was, let's say, five plus years ago, I definitely would have resigned right here. I wouldn't have seen no, for some reason, like, I don't know, I... If this was like me when I was just watching Death Toaster's videos at the time, from like 2014 to like 2018, I wouldn't have seen an opportunity to win here. I would have just given up being stuck here. But that's the difference when you're not as good starting out and when you're much better later on. But then again, that's a double-edged sword. Sometimes there really is no way to win, but you think you can pull something out of your ass. But it has happened before. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, Green tries to attack the expansion base, thinking it was uh, Reno's, but surprisingly, it wasn't. It was mine. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I did that because he would have been worrying about that old base. But I can just upgrade it, do whatever I need to. And Red foolishly sends that scarab up, thinking he can solo, and Reno cryo bombs it right about now. Yep. <laughs> accidentally killing some of Teal's Banshees, but oh well. My army arrives, I can break some of my units up, have some vampires stop it, and that Scarab is gone. Good fucking riddance. I don't even know, it's weird, I don't know how these enemies have the economy to just keep spamming Scarabs. You would think they'd be into the 2000s range, considering they have all these bases and popping 3k, this 3 to 6k every 2 minutes. Strange how they keep up, but because that scarab is down, they lost their DPS. So this is the point on my R Reno. You have the strength to go solo that entire section, and I'll help you over there. Yep. Yep. So that's our opening, and I was just looking ahead using my damn Sharingan to see a few seconds into the damn future. Nah, not in the future, it's like my precog. Well, anyway, I used my hindsight to see that, unfortunately, I think this is the last bit of the DVR of anything interesting, but the last interesting thing I do capture here is me halting Green's assault here, and Reno taking out that Scarab, which is like a Scarab, excuse me, Arbiter, the fourth Arbiter. <laughs> yep, he's gonna rage, he's gonna stop, and try to recall. But it's too late. Yep. <laughs> so that's that. Yes, I get cryo bomb by green, but it doesn't matter. I can just replace everything in a few seconds anyway, so who gives a fuck? And yeah, sadly the DVR cuts out right here, and it's just us winning. I really wish I captured that. But as you see right there, Reno takes that base out. And yeah, <laughs> the base is done. We're able to, yeah. I think uh, I think blue resigned or green resigned. That was too fast. But one of them resigned after red's expansion base blows up. So yeah, this is easy street. So the rest is just um, it's just us uh, destroying them and me looking at these stats. Glad you enjoyed this video. More Halo Wars videos coming out. And I'll work on some more serious video projects. Enjoy the enjoy the rest of the enjoy the rest of the ending here. Local units. Anti wave out. All units. All units. Warehouse complete. All units. All units. Shield generator complete.
is victorious. <laughs>